Hi, I'm Kent Johnson. I'm with the Excelsior Arts Academy and Youth Theater. And today I'd like to read you a poem by T.S. Eliot. Now, T.S. Eliot was an American poet, and he lived from the late 1800s until about 1965. He was uh, a wonderful poet, but he wrote a series of poems to his godchildren, and they were all about cats. And he wrote them under assumed name of Old Possum. So here's this book of poems called Old Possum's Book of Practical Cats by T.S. Eliot. And it's got wonderful illustrations in here as well. Here's another one. You can see how wonderful these are. Well, one of my favorite poems from Old Possum's Book of Practical Cats is called Gus the Theater Cat. And I'd like to read that for you right now, if I could. So this is Gus the Theater Cat by T.S. Eliot. <clears throat> Gus is the cat at the theater door. But his name, as I ought to have told you before, is really asparagus. But that's such a fuss to pronounce that we usually call him just Gus. His coat's very shabby. He's thin as a rake. And he suffers from palsy that makes his paw shake. Yet he was in his youth quite the smartest of cats, but no longer a terror to mice or to rats. For he isn't the cat that he once was in his prime. Though his name was quite famous, he says, in its time. And whenever he joins his friends at their club, which takes place at the back of the neighboring pub, he loves to regale them, if someone else pays, with antidotes drawn from his palmiest days. For he once was a star of the highest degree. He had acted with Irving. He had acted with Tree. And he likes to relate his success on the halls where the gallery once gave him seven cat calls. But his grandest creation, as he loves to tell, was Fire Fro Fiddle, the Fiend of the Fell. I have played, so he says, every possible part, and I used to know seventy speeches by heart. I'd extemporize back chat, I knew how to gag. And I knew how to let the cat out of the bag. I knew how to act with my back and my tail. With an hour of rehearsal, I never could fail. I had a voice that would soften the hardest of hearts, whether I took the lead or in character parts. I have sat by the bedside of poor little Nell, when the curfew was rung, then I swung on the bell. In the pantomime season, I never fell flat. And I once understudied Dick Whittington's cat. But my grandest creation, as history will tell, was Fire Fro Fiddle, the fiend of the fell. Then if someone will give him a toothful of gin, he will tell how he once played a part in East Lynn. At a Shakespeare performance, he once walked on Pat when some actor suggested the need for a cat. He once played a tiger, could do it again, which an Indian colonel pursued down a drain. And he thinks that he still can, much better than most, produce blood-curdling noises to bring on the ghost. And he once crossed the stage on a telegraph wire 
to rescue a child when a house was on fire. And he says, now these kittens, they do not get trained as we did in the days when Victoria reigned. They never get drilled in a regular troop, and they think they are smart just to jump through the hoop. And he'll say as he scratches his claws, Well, the theater certainly is not what it was. These modern productions are all very well, but there's nothing to equal from what I hear tell. That moment of mystery when I made history as Fire Fro Fiddle, the Fiend of the Fell. And that's the poem, Gus the Theater Cat. Here's a wonderful illustration of Fire Fro Fiddle, the Fiend of the Fell. T. Ellis Eliot wrote a lot of stories and poems. He wrote a lot of poems about cats under the pseudonym of Old Possum. And years after he passed and produced this book, certain composer by the name of Andrew Lloyd Webber grabbed these poems and he made them into a Broadway musical called Cats. And so you can see all about Gus and the Rum Tum Tugger and Jenny Any Dots and all the other Cats characters if you ever happen to go to the Broadway show Cats. Well, I hope you enjoyed this little reading today of Gus the Theater Cat from T.S. Eliot's Old Possum's Book of Practical Cats. And I certainly hope you're enjoying your time off, trying to keep busy. Remember, you can find all sorts of wonderful poetry by T.S. Eliot and a bunch of other American poets at your local library, Eckert Public Library, or online. And I hope you do research some of them. I hope you go out and read some of T.S. Eliot's poems of cats or someday see the Broadway show. And you can see the Jellicle Cats come out tonight. Jellico Cats at the Jellico Ball. And enjoy all those poems. Well, I'm Kent Johnson from Excelsior Arts Academy, signing off. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.